This past weekend, Viola Davis made history by becoming the first African American woman to win Best Actress in a Drama Series at the 67th Annual Emmy Awards. But when she gave a shout out to Harriet Tubman and women of color in her acceptance speech, one soap opera actress wasn't too happy. <laughs> The 2015 Emmy Awards were a big night for black actresses. Uzo Aduba and Regina King both took home Best Supporting Actress awards, but it was Viola Davis and her epic Best Actress speech that brought the house down. First, she started with a quote from Harriet Tubman. In my dreams, I see a line. Over that line, I see green fields and lovely flowers and beautiful white women with their arms stretched out to me over that line, but I can't seem to get there no how. I can't seem to get over that line. And then she called out Hollywood in the most direct and honest way possible. Quote, the only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. You cannot win an Emmy for roles that are simply not there, end quote. Now to me, that sounds like a call for Hollywood to step it up and create more interesting, complex, and honest roles for women of color, instead of the same old one-dimensional stereotypes that we're used to. But General Hospital actress Nancy Lee Gran didn't hear it that way. So Nancy Lee took to Twitter to express her disappointment with Viola's speech. Quote, I'm a actress for 40 years. None of us get respect or opportunity we deserve. Emmy's not venue for racial opportunity. All women belittled, end quote. Can you tell how I feel about that tweet? Because it's not good. She then went on to say that Viola Davis has never experienced discrimination, saying that Harriet Tubman was an unfair comparison. While it's true that women in a variety of fields encounter sexism, it's naive to ignore how the experiences of women of color are different from white women. Viola's win was not about all women, and that's okay, because for women of color, our experiences are influenced by sexism and by racism. Can I get a what what for intersectionality? In order to advocate for women, you have to remember that there are many different types of women who face different challenges and systems of oppression because of who they are. And yes, that even includes rich and famous Hollywood actresses. There's no denying that Viola has achieved tremendous success over the course of her career, but she's also had to deal with negative comments about her natural hair, press labeling her an unconventional beauty, and shaking off the angry black woman stereotype. Not to mention, overcoming adversity doesn't mean that those challenges suddenly go away for everyone else. Racism in Hollywood, and outside of Hollywood, still exists. Too often, women of color in film and TV are stuck with one-dimensional roles that are super sexy, angry, vapid, or just plain underdeveloped. And while some could argue that it's just entertainment, we've seen time and again that the media plays a role in how we see ourselves and in how the world sees us. And look, TV and film is not just about awards, but seeing people that look like you succeed and be recognized for their work is really important. So what's it gonna take to see more diverse actresses and actors winning Academy Awards? Well, like Viola said in her speech, it's all about opportunity. And historically, the people who get the opportunity to write, direct, and produce are white guys. So in order for Hollywood to change, the people behind the camera need to change too. So did you see Viola Davis's Emmy speech? What did you think of it and the criticism from Nancy Lee Grant? Let me know in the comments and we will see you next week with another mini episode of Decoded. 14 year old Ahmed Mohammed left his high school in handcuffs after his English teacher mistook his homemade clock for a bomb. Yikes. Thank <laughs> you.